Storm Generation Manifesto. We tip our hats to the lost and the beat. We go our own way. We are the storm generation. We are the storm. We are a new generation of artists. We are poets, writers, painters, sculptors, composers, musicians, singers, dancers, playwrights, filmmakers. We are creative expression. We blow away lies and injustice. We are graphic. We are honest. We tell it like it is. We are fierce. We are brutal. We are compassionate. We are gentle. We are kind. We have soft hearts. We are free. We are spirit. We are sex. We dwell in the realms of the creative imagination. We are the creative imagination. We know that the shortest distance between two points is creative distance. We pay attention to the long forgotten wisdom voices of the forest. We vanquish the overtly materialistic greedy who intentionally destroy mountains. We honor mountains and oceans and eagles and wolves. We cherish Mother Earth and all her terrible beauty. We are nonviolent spiritual warriors. We are lightning. We are thunder. We are song poems. We are fearless visionary poets. We have wolf eyes. We are more than the eye of the storm. We are the storm. We refuse. We will not bow down. We will never give up. We are God's open nerve. We are God's open nerve. We are the storm generation. We are the storm. The storm. The storm. Hello everybody, welcome back to Tapping My Own Phone with Ron Whitehead, produced by Shooter Russell. We're here at the Bristol Bar and Grill on Barstown Road, where if you people are going to be coming, they're already coming from around the world uh, to look at the giant Hunter S. Thompson banner on the side of the Bristol Bar and Grill. It took me 20 years to get Hunter S. Thompson honored in his hometown. We're in the heart of the Highlands on Barstown Road in Louisville, Kentucky, where Hunter grew up. Uh, the juvenile delinquent, Hunter S. Thompson. I'll tell more about that in another episode. This week's front cover of Leo Weekly, Louisville's alternative newspaper. It comes out every Wednesday. Um, the front cover, is a photo by my sweetheart, Jen Bug. She won the best black and white photo in their annual um, Literary Leo contest. She set, won several other awards. And I appreciate Leo putting a piece about the Storm Generation um, and discusses my history with Leo. Since Literary Leo, the first one came out in 1993 and Congressman John Yarmouth started uh, Leo and I have been a participant in it ever since. And his son, Aaron, runs it now. And a young lady, Laura Snyder, is the managing um, editor. She's from Ohio County in Western Kentucky, where I grew up. She grew up across the street from my brother, Brad. And I wrote that poem, The Storm Generation Manifesto, with my friend, Olafur Gunnarsson, Iceland's leading novelist in uh, May of 2008, after I solo climbed the Viking Mountain in Iceland and was nearly blown off three times to my death. Um, and I'll tell more about that in a later episode. Thank you.